limited time offer. Get that awesome gaming gear combo not for $129.99 but for $69.99. Yes, only $69.99. Wow, unbelievable. Are you tired of playing with fuck ambitions that give free kills on a gold plate just to piss you off? Do you want to be the one that picks on powerless victims to make them rage quit the game? Then follow this training program to become the best no summoners Katarina, the strip club dancer. Here are the runes, masteries, skill distribution and items that you need to show off your power without using a single summoner spell. Whoa whoa calm down Uncle Kui, why the flying Justin Bieber are you not taking any summoner spell? Do you really think you're going to improve your skills by using brainless tactics like uh, teleporting here to massacre an enemy or flashing here to kill an already dead raccoon? No man, you'll have to rely on your own abilities to impress your peers you dumb summoner kid. Anyway, in the laning phase, you'll have to use your kitchen knife skill on your opponent to deal some cheap damage and when you unlock your sword spin and your ninja jump skills, you will finally be able to make him regret laning against a harass screen by combining these three skills into a super combo. Thanks to your ninja jump skill, you can easily dodge any skill shot to not take any kaka poke and if the enemy jungler comes to have a threesome with you, just place a ward here to jump on it and voila, you got a free flash that is up every 6 seconds. See, even if you mess your ninja gank, you will be able to run away from the terrorists by taking detours here and there with your beautiful 6 second flash. Who needs the real one, right? Since the enemy mid laner rage quit the game because he couldn't put up with your harass game, it's time to have fun by pissing off the other laners by dancing the shakalaka with them until they kiss the dirty ground. Then, as soon as you get your deathfire grasp, target the under level champions on purpose and eat them like popcorns. And that is how, my sexless friend, you prevent the other team from having any fun when they already had a shitty day at work or school. However, if you don't wait until your huddle can reach your target before using all your skills, killing her in less than a second will be impossible. To rectify this situation, you only need to wait until the fireball touches her asshole to jump on her like a savage beast to control every brush on summoner's rift. We control! Bitch control! Oh, hello sexy motherfucker! Thanks to your ninja jump kitchen knife combo, you can catch up to a blind fuck a bitch to put him to rest and since you know how painful it is to have your pants on fire, you will be able to cook a tasty fish for your happy family, no problem. And now you can cook a counter jungle, even if you don't need that useless buff at all. And team fights, you'll have to wait until the enemies exhaust their skills on the bait you send to them and then jump on them when they have nothing left to win this one side battle. Do that again and again and when you have most of your AP items, you will be able to delete these barren thieves from the game before you even have the time to say, Welcome to the Chinese Buffet, sexy lady! How? By smashing your keyboard keys like a rager! After honing your skills as a player without using any summoner spell, you will grow confident enough to take on a pack of female Power Rangers to wipe them with a bounty toilet paper. That's right, I can assure you that you will not hesitate to copy Leroy Jenkins every time you see a group of giant minions because you know you can screw them up all by yourself. You died in the process? Who cares, you just racked more money than you could imagine. And that's why you can share your hot money with your penniless allies. Thank you Katarina! That's it for today people. Don't forget to check out my channel for more boring League of Legends video. Feel free to leave a comment in any language you want. But I'll only answer those in English and in French because I'm a racist fuck bitch. Ciao!